everyone. Today I'm discussing a system of combining using your planner with task bracelets or chore bracelets to complete chores. Even if you don't have ADHD, I think that this could be really helpful for completing chores. I did not come up with the idea of task bracelets. I saw a video on TikTok, which I'll link down below. Today I'm going to be showing you how I modified that system to work with a planner. I purchased these wrist keychains online. They come up 10 different colors and these come linked onto the bracelet, but I already took it off and I'm going to be adding these tags on here. The reason why I took off this part was because it was just too, I guess, annoying to me because of the sound it was making. Whereas something like this, it still gets my attention. It's annoying enough that I want to get the task done and take the bracelet off, but it's not so annoying that I don't want anything to do with it. I also purchased these containers. You can use containers that you already have around your house. It doesn't need to look exactly like this. So first I took this schedule and I simplified it down to this schedule that you see here. This has tasks that you complete every day, tasks that you complete every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday every weekend and then weekends one two three four and five and then at the bottom i also have a key to tell me when i say areas one through three etc which areas i'm referring to i can cut this out and then add this to my planner So now I've added this insert to my planner and this is going to be the guide for how to arrange the task bracelets. I printed out labels onto some clear sticker paper. These are going to be going on the sides of each container and then these are the labels for all of the chore bracelets. One of the things that I've made different than the systems that I've seen online is that I've added times. And the idea of this is that once you pull out your task bracelet for that specific task, it'll tell you how many minutes it should take. And then I can set my timer for that amount of time. And so that kind of makes it into a game, which is something that is motivating to me. I would much prefer to try to get it done before the timer goes off. And you're kind of collecting these bracelets in here as you complete each task. So it's like a game, you're building up completed tasks. You could also transfer it from your right hand to your left hand after you complete each task or put it immediately in the container. But for myself, I want to remove it immediately because I want that immediate reward of placing it in the container once I've completed the task. I also bought this acrylic tray. This is not necessary. It's just so I can easily move these around from room to room as I'm completing chores, if that's what I want to do that day. If you get easily overwhelmed, I would recommend starting out with just maybe one container, maybe it's every day, or maybe you're just trying to build a new routine and just put in a few of the bracelets and work on that until it becomes a habit and then slowly build from there. I'm gonna store the lids in these containers that I got at Walmart. Doesn't matter where we go and destination or no I don't care where the motor stops Cause when I want it, then I want it Yeah, I want it, oh I want it, let's go Look around, where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life Hit me with it right now in it. Cause when I want it Let's say it's the first day of the month And your lids are all put away And your bracelets are all set up And today happens to be Monday 
say grab your everyday bracelets because those are chores you want to complete every day and you grab your Monday tasks because it's Monday. You go about your day, you complete your chores, and you put them back in the containers and place the lids on top to signify that it is done. Then you repeat that for Tuesday through Friday. Now let's say it's Saturday. You take your everyday bracelets, your every weekend bracelets, and your weekend one bracelets because it's the first weekend of the month and you go about your day once again and you try to get as much done as you can if you have the time. But if you don't finish every weekend and weekend one, that's okay. So you can put those to the side to complete for Sunday because the weekend isn't over yet. Sunday starts and you finish up those every weekend and weekend one tasks that you didn't finish as well as your everyday tasks once again. And then either that night or the following morning, you do your weekly reset. And that is basically just removing the lids for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for your everyday tasks and your every weekend tasks. And as the month progresses, you repeat the process and you work your way through weekends one through five until you are done. One thing you could also do if you think you are going to be overwhelmed by seeing all of these containers is that at the end of the day, you just pull out the ones that are specific for the following day. So for example, if tomorrow is Monday, then I'm going to pull out the everyday jar and the every Monday jar. And I just need to focus on these two um, for that day. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I also have an example that says check planner for today's tasks. If that is something that you are struggling to make into a habit, you can have things like reminders to check your planner. You can have parts of your routine as tasks, whatever you need to get done what you need to get done. This channel is called Personalize My Planner but it's all about modifying things to make them work for you, whether that's your planner or your schedule or in this situation, the task bracelets. Hope that this system can help motivate you to complete cleaning and other chores. If you want access to the cleaning free printables and to learn more about that schedule, check out this video here and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.